What's going on everyone? Hey, it's Jason and welcome to our Missouri yard. So it's been a couple weeks since I've done a video. Um, we've had a lot of rain since then. Did a project that I didn't record. I built a retaining wall. I had started on it in the videos before, but I, since I am not a professional and I didn't really know what I was doing, I didn't want to record it and like teach people how to do stuff wrong kind of thing. It turned out pretty good. I'll show you some video of that here in a minute. But um, just a quick recap of what the videos were bef before. So we did had brought in a bunch of topsoil, brought in three, three tons of topsoil and leveled out some areas and reseeded those areas, did some overseeding over the rest of the yard and sprayed a bunch of the next products. We put down RGS, Humic 12, Air 8, Microgreen, and Green Start. And then also put down, before we seeded, put down the um, Tenacity for the pre-emergent. Everything is working. So I got some good things, I got some good news, and I got some not so good news. So it's been raining quite a bit in the last two weeks and did lose some grass seed to a little bit of washout, and I'll show you some of that. But I got some grass coming up, and I can't, I'm excited to show you. But first, let me show you the retaining wall that we did. All right, so here's the retaining wall. It uh, ended up being a much larger project than we originally anticipated. If you recall from the previous video, this place, this side was in shambles. It was in really rough shape. The uh, original retaining wall that was there was actually just edger stones that they had used and just piled up. And so they were all falling over and just been really old and just in disarray. And the bed was not really good at all. There was no tears. It just all go down with the slant of the hill. So we got a lot of... Uh, retaining wall block here brought in a bunch of rock had to bring in some dirt to fill in this area I believe it was a half a cubic yard is what I ended up using in that area to fill in and level that out there But then we got so put in one two three Tears there and Then had one here and one here We put in and had to bring in some dirt to fill in this hole here because this had been actually just washed out completely and gone down especially over here by the corner of the house it would wash out and just go down so we got that um ran out of rock so we got to get a little more rock to put in it's really thin in areas but we wanted to cover it up to see how it looked so pretty proud of it um like i said i am no expert at this this is the first retaining wall i've ever built so there was a few times i had to uh take it all out and put it back start all over and whatnot so it's not perfect but it's i'm happy with it, it turned out really well Pretty happy with it. I'll show you what we're starting to do with some of the edgers. And let me tell you guys, it is a beautiful day today. Finally, you can break from the rain, break from the cold temperatures. It's, I think it's 72 degrees right now. So we have a few of the edging stones here that were left over and a few of the retaining wall blocks. So here's one area where we started using those edgers for, that were on the original um, retaining wall on the side of the house. So just played them out. We haven't positioned them or anything like that. Just put them, get an idea of what we're going to do. Heather's finally got some green stuff coming up. Got some plants, some coleus. Yeah, I don't know what those are. I know what the coleus is. But that's it. That's all I know. And she's starting to stock up on plants, too. We've got a couple of ferns in pots here. I guess they're going to be going in. A couple of red ones. Bunch of flowers here. Again, I don't know. Flowers aren't my thing, so I don't know what they are. And we got some really pretty roses here. She loves roses. I'm anxious to get her on video, show her what's going on. So you can see where we have some more of the edging stones. Now, this is one of the area of concern I have. My yard is not dominating at all right now. I have all these patches in here, and I've got this area here where it's all brown yet. And I am not sure what kind of grass that is. It was green last summer and last fall. So I'm confident it'll come back. But I think it's something I'm gonna to have to address eventually. I'm guessing, guessing it's a warm season grass. I'm gonna get down a little closer to it. But it's just brown. I don't see any runners to it. So I don't know if it, I don't think it's Bermuda grass, but I just don't know don't have a clue it was actually a, a wider whiter color before I put down the um, all the next products the liquid fertilizers with all the carbon in it the black so concerned about it I'm 
let me take you down to the seed bed. So um, this is kind of exciting. Remember now, two weeks ago is when I put all the seed down. And if you look, we're starting to get some grass coming up. Look at that. It's not coming in real thick. And to be honest with you, we've had so much rain, I don't know how much washed away and how much I still have. It's always exciting to see new grass come up. I'm excited about that. But, like here, I don't have any coming up. Well, I guess I do have it just a little bit, tiny bit, like right here. So, we'll see. I don't know if that's going to wash away or what. And we'll come over here to the side of the driveway. So we got some more grass coming up in that area. But again, we have all this brown stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not 100% confident yet, but it may just be maybe being impatient. So you know how I told you we had a lot of rain? Well, this area suffered from it. This is the area on the side of the driveway where it was over when I brought in the three tons of dirt it was actually about three cubic yards um, this took a majority of the dirt um, so I didn't kill it all off I didn't nuke everything and do a full renovation I just put dirt over top of what was existing there but we have some drainage issues so we have a downspout here and it comes down the tray and comes down that wall and then this is what's coming that trench there and then we have another one where the water comes down the side of the hill and just comes right down here. And then it's washed down here. And look at all of that grass seed that has washed. So, I'm definitely going to have to seed this area again. I plan on putting a, uh, a drainage pipe right here. In that little trench right here put maybe a drain right here where it all, all collected here so it'll all wash away but I got to get all this dug out figure out what I'm gonna do with all this grass seed and get that cleaned up so but I'm gonna give you see if I can get a little closer on this trench to give you an idea of what I'm dealing with you can see it came right down there so what I think I'm going to do, and we're getting more, supposed to get more rain tonight and rain over the next couple weeks, so i got to do something. What I think I'm going to do is get some black pipe and connect it, to, connect it to the downspout here and then just run the pipe down along there. And then get something to put here to direct the water over that way also. Alright, so my next plan is today, um, I'm not going to mow, I probably could. I'm going to walk around the yard again and look at it again, but I um, don't plan on mowing, but then I'm going to put down some Molorganite for fertilizer. It's a uh, all organic fertilizer. It has a lot of carbon in it, and what it is, the bit neatest thing about Molorganite, because it is organic, it is not going to burn your yard. It doesn't matter how much you put down, it doesn't matter when you put it down, it is not going to burn your yard. So you can even put it down, this fertilizer down in the middle of July, which I plan to. I plan to put it, put it down around the 4th of July weekend, and it will not burn your yard. And you can't just can't do that with um, the synthetic fertilizers, because it'll burn your yard and kill it all off. So I'm going to put that down, and the Molorganite feeds the soil. So the feeds the soil so the oil the soil becomes better and then the grass feeds off the soil so instead of just feeding the grass it's feeding the soil I had planned on originally putting down or spraying a green punch it's the next from the next product line of the Green County fertilizers it's a liquid fertilizer but it does a lot of foliar it's a hard word for me to say foliar I think that's how you say it <laughs> um, it's absorbed through the leaves of the grass all right and, but also through the roots too, but the primary thing is through the leaves of the grass. And unfortunately we're supposed to get more rain tonight, and then also rain again throughout the rest next couple weeks. So I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to put down the mole organite and wait for the greed punch later. The, um, I think a recommendation is for no rain for at least 24 hours, So and that's just not going to happen anytime in the next two weeks I can see in the forecast. So I'm just going to 
wait on that, hold off on that. But I am going to put down the RGS. I'm going to spray some more of that. The root growth stimulator. So it's, I'm going to put down, like two weeks ago, I put down the RGS, the Humic 12, the Air 8, the Green Effect, and the Green Start. And now I'm going to put down Melorganite and the um, RGS again to really, really feed this soil, to really get it going to just push this grass so we're awesome for the June 30th for the garden tour. All right, uh, let me go get some Melorganite so I can show it to you real quick. Okay, so I changed my mind. I am going to mow, because I like to mow, and it's been a long time. I've mowed once this, this season. Otherwise, it's been a long time since I mowed, and we're not going to be able to mow again for the next, at least for another week, maybe two weeks because of all the rain we're going to be getting. So I'm going to go ahead and mow real quick, and then I'm going to fertilize. All right, guys, so it's, my neighbors are out, so I don't want to talk too loud here, but um, my yearly reminder, tall type turf fescue needs to be cut tall. Biggest thing I see about uh, people who cut lawns in mid Missouri that all have fescue type grass, they cut it too short. Okay, so I cut it short my very first mowing a few videos ago. I cut it real short because I wanted to get all some of the dead material off the grass, and then I also wanted to get leaves picked up. And I was doing some mulching and getting you know just cleaning up the yard, so I cut it low. And I forgot to, I'll tell you, I forgot to raise it back up, and I mowed a little bit. I saw that. I've raised it back up. I've raised it up to three and a half inches right now. So it's a big difference. And that's what I'm going to cut out for now. And when um, we get back to a regular mowing, when the rain starts to slow down and whatnot, I'm going to raise it up to four inches. And I'm not going to cut any lower than four inches. That's what Fescue thrives at, is a four inch cut. Okay? So just want I just want to stop and drop that drop that out on you guys. As a reminder, my yearly yard advice. Tall turf type tall fescue, cut it tall. It's in the name, tall fescue. Cut it four inches, no shorter. So I want to show you guys this real quick. The all right. So in here, the lighter grass. That's the grass that we put down last fall. That's not new this year. 
And we just don't have any coming up here yet. Maybe just a little bit. But I just don't think it's got enough sun over here yet. We'll see. But remember the tenacity I was telling you about? I used as a pre-emergent. Well, it's a pre-emergent and post-emergent that's safe with fescue-type grasses. Um, a lot of um, cold season type grasses. But look at this. So, see this light colored stuff here? And that's how, see how it's lighter in there? Maybe get back a little bit for you can see it a little easier. This is not a fescue grass. And what's happening is the tenacity is working on it. It's turning it light, and then it's gonna eventually turn white, is my understanding. And it is actually, a little place is starting to turn white, and then it'll die. So the tenacity works as both a pre and post emergent um, herbicide for the uh, grasses for you. So, but I got a lot of, <laughs> really hoping this all comes in well. Here's a, another view of the grass from the side yard looking up the hill. I mowed around it, so I mowed up the fence here and mowed, mowed through in the middle. So it really makes the new areas really pop out. I'm loving that. Hope the grass seed comes up really well. Unfortunately, I could probably spread more seed here if I wanted to. I'm gonna wait and see how it goes. The area on the side of the driveway I'm really concerned about. Now, a question for you guys. You can see how the tenacity is working on this, whatever this is. But what the heck is this thing? I have no idea what that is. Put a comment below. Do you have any guesses? I'm almost thinking about just letting it grow to see what happens. And here's another area where the tenacity is working on it. I have no idea what that is either. But it's going to die because it's not my fescue grass.